Becoming a mom really had a negative impact on my style. I literally lost myself, especially when I had a toddler and a baby at home. That period was filled with leggings and sweatpants, okay? So I had to go through that process of rebuilding my wardrobe and finding my style again and finding ways that not only could help me dress better, but help me feel better. Because I do believe that if you look good, you feel good. You know, it does help. It helps a lot when you just feel like you look put together. So if you are in a similar situation where you are trying to dress better in 2023 or find your style, I'm going to be showing you the approach that I took and the process that I went through in order to dress better and find my style. By the way, hey sis, happy new year. My bad girl, if you're new here, my name is Unique. I do lots of fashion content here on YouTube and over on Instagram and TikTok. Like this video as we go along if you find the tips helpful and then let me know down in the comment which particular tip you are going to be leaning into for 2023. Before you do anything else, first step is cleaning out your closet. This step you have to do because right now it's easy for you to just grab those leggings because you have them and they're there and you're probably wearing them so often that they're at the top of your pile right so what i need you to do is go through your closet clean out the things that don't fit you anymore the things that are kind of old and ratted and tatted the things that you keep pulling out but you don't like all of those things need to go. Now, I'm not saying <laughs> throw it all away, especially if you're in that phase of life where you're going through a transition or you have smaller kids or maybe you're transitioning between jobs and you need some of those pieces that you don't particularly like, but they are comfortable or they're useful for an interview or something like that, then yes, you wanna keep those. But if you are holding on to clothes that no longer fit you or don't flatter your body, and these are like weight goal oriented type of clothing, if the majority of your clothing is tied to a weight goal, it's time for you to reconsider your perspective because you don't have to fit a particular weight goal in order to look good. You can look good right now, even if you're a little bit uncomfortable in your body. And I am talking from a place of experience because I've been there, okay? So clean out your closet, get rid of those items that you just don't feel good in, that you're uncomfortable in, that you just don't feel pretty in. You don't need to hold on to those things. I know it's hard for us to get through this step because we feel like we've invested a lot of money here, but your money is still going to waste if you don't feel good in those clothes and so you're not wearing them. Your money is still going to waste if they're in your closet collecting dust, okay? So I would much rather you donate these items. I have family members that usually take my clothes, so I know that they're going to an actual person but you know you always have donation centers I do this as well too if you know once my family picks through and they decide they don't want this stuff then I usually ship them to Jamaica because I'm from Jamaica okay so they get packs in a barrel back to Jamaica or last resort I drop them off at a donation center but sis I promise you this step is worth it. Now that you have gone through your closet, I want you to look at the pieces that you have kept and put them into categories. So you wanna organize your closet so you can get a better idea of what you have, what you like, and maybe what your style kinda is if you see that you have like, oh, I have a lot of blazers and a lot of trousers, and I really like this look, maybe I need to lean a little bit more into that classic aesthetic, for example, okay? So now that you have an organized closet, it's time to grab inspiration. Pinterest, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, so much inspiration is out there for any style, any aesthetic, and if you can't find it, that means that it's missing and they need you, okay? And you just found a problem that needs to be solved, sis maybe it's time to become a content creator. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, there is so much inspiration out on the internet right now. You are not lacking for inspiration these days. So what I want you to do is start collecting inspiration on the different platforms. Every platform has a save button or a collection that you can start. Pinterest has a board. TikTok you can save. Instagram you can save into folders as well. So I want you to collect inspiration from the girls, but do it in a way that 
gets organized. So for example, you found an outfit that you love. You need to figure out what about this outfit do I like? Is it the color scheme? Is it one of the particular clothing items? Do I like the way that it fits her? Side note, make sure you don't like the outfit because of the person in the in the picture <laughs> okay because a lot of times we fall in love with things because it looks good on this girl who has a 24 inch waist and 40 inch hips if you go know what I'm saying it's not gonna look like that on you so make sure that you fall in love with this inspiration because you like the actual outfit you don't look it's not that you like how the outfit looks on her if you are looking at this outfit and you figured out what about this outfit you like color scheme okay this needs to go into the folder that is dedicated to color combination so when you're trying to look for a color combination outfit you go to this folder if you love this inspiration because of the blazer and how she styled the particular blazer this needs to go into a blazer outfits folder do you see what i'm saying collect the information but organize it so that it can be useful for you in the future the second thing about collecting inspiration that i need to talk about is you can get inspiration from anyone and everyone i get inspired by people who don't look like me i get inspired by movies other forms of media nature itself so you can draw inspiration from ev from everywhere however when you are starting to rebuild your style i think it is also important important to follow people or find people who have a similar body type as you or a similar style that you're trying to aspire to. This might look good on a girl who has a BBL and she looks phenomenal in it but you probably want to follow this girl who has more of a pear shape that's similar to your shape so you can see how she puts things together. So even if her style is not exactly how you want to dress you can look at the proportions and how she plays with proportions on her body to know okay maybe I do need to try low rise jeans they actually look great on her body type let me see if it looks good on mine do you see what I'm saying so now that you have a plethora of inspiration that is organized and you have a good starting point in your closet it's now time to assess and to plan I want you to take the cues from your closet, the pieces that you own and already like, and your inspiration, and you need to see what direction you are already being drawn to. What's the commonalities here that you're already picking up on? Do you see a lot of midi skirts, a lot of colors? Is there a color theme happening here? Are you more of a classic girl? Are you more of a colorful girl? Like which which way are your is your inspiration drawing you? as well as what you already have in your closet. How can you work your the pieces that you already own into your inspiration? So I want you to start trying to recreate your inspiration looks with the pieces that you already have in your closet. And what this is gonna do is help you save money in the long run run because you already are able to pull looks out of your existing closet and then two you're going to be able to play around with the different proportions that you're seeing in your inspiration pictures putting together the different uh, clothing items that you probably wouldn't have put together and see if you actually like this style this is another major key if you can really play around in the clothing items that you already have and recreate some of those inspired looks you're already going to have an idea of what you do and do not like before you start just investing and throwing money at all the clothing stores and being disappointed when those clothes get to you that you don't like them. I know that we live in a world where online shopping is king so I don't want you to rush to shopping only to be disappointed that you still don't like those things that you're buying right so here in this phase is where you need to start recreating some of these inspired looks or just playing around in the pieces that you already own to see what kind of options you can create 
and I do have a couple of videos where I pulled looks from Pinterest and I recreated them in from items in my closet so I will link that video up above in the cards and down in the description box so you can see exactly what this recreation step looks like if you've never done this before and then we can go shopping so this is the fun part right <laughs> if you watch my channel then you know I love a good haul right I, I love a good shopping situation okay this is where that organized inspiration collection that you've gotten so far this is where that comes into play you're going to take those inspired looks and the categories that you put those looks into so leather skirt outfits blazer outfits color combinations and you are going to see what holes in your closet you have to fill in order to get close to your style or the inspired looks that you've pulled. I don't want you to rely on online shopping experiences only. You need to actually take a field trip to the mall and out into the world for this one. In order to get a good idea of what looks good on us in our current bodies, as well as the style that we're trying to attain. And at our current budget, you have to go out. This is educational. This shopping is a field trip. Give yourself enough time because I actually want you to try things on and not just try on random bits and bobs trying to fill those holes in your closet, right? I want you to go to the stores and actually create outfits in the store based off your inspiration and of course your gut feeling let your creativity play you don't know what you can come up with but actually create outfits in the store and go try them on take pictures take video so that you can refer back to it i don't want you to immediately go and buy things unless you find something that you love Okay, because we're going to keep we gonna keep our eyes open to opportunities and our, our hearts open for gems to come our way. But this is not necessarily a field trip for you to go and spend a bunch of money. I really just want you to go try things on, create actual outfits, try them on and document it so that later when the endorphins and the adrenaline and the serotonin has flushed out your system and you're back at home, you can go through those pictures and those videos and really decide like, okay, actually, I thought I liked that. But now that I'm looking at the picture and the video of me, I really don't like the way that looks on me. And you get a better idea of what you actually like, what you actually need. And it's not so impulsive because the shiny thing, the shiny new toy in the store with all the bright shiny lights that they have on it always looks amazing. So you have to go home, let things settle down and actually see, okay, this does look good on me, I can get that. And then also now you can go back to the online store and see if you can find it cheaper. A win is a win. Before you pull the trigger on buying a new item, I want you to consider a couple of things. First, how many ways can I rewear this? Right now, you're focused on building an actual collection of items that you can pull from that you know you're going to feel good in. This is not the time to be buying special items that you're unsure how many times you can wear them. If you can only wear this item to your friend's birthday dinner and that's it, you don't know unless that birthday dinner is tomorrow or this weekend but if you are just buying it just in case somebody um invites you to dinner no that is how you end up with a closet where you just don't ever have anything to wear or you're just standing there looking into the abyss of clothing and you never can put anything together that is how now you know i love a special item i love a special piece but i also have a closet where i know if I have to go somewhere today in the next 30 minutes, I can pull an outfit together and still feel good about myself. My collection is strong. It's on a strong foundation. If you are just trying to figure out your style or figure out how to dress better this year, you're not there yet. Don't get into the trap of buying just special items, okay? Think about how many ways can I wear this? How many things that I already own can work with this new item? Do I already have shoes for this item? Am I going to need accessories for this item? Am I going to have to build an entire outfit 
just for this one item? If you're answering yes to that last question, put it back. You know what, better yet, take a picture of it, take some video of you in the item, in the dressing room, and go home and think about it. That is how you avoid wasting money. You're welcome. And no matter how much inspiration that you pull, how many shopping trips that you take, figuring out your style really comes down to trial and error. Every time that you get dressed, I want you to take picture, video. I want you to collect this content and create a catalog for yourself. I want you to take these new pieces and your existing pieces and play around, build outfits, even when you don't got nowhere to go, girl, build outfits, but don't don't just build them, try them on. Have a whole fashion show for yourself, girl, but take the pictures and also take video of yourself in the outfits. And just like how you categorize your inspiration, I want you to catalog you in these outfits that you've created as well. Blazer outfits, skirt outfits, work outfits, church outfits, stuff like that. Organize them so in a pinch, you already have like a catalog of yourself in the items that you own to draw from. And this also is gonna help you when you're going out to shop because I have this outfit together, oh, that's right, I needed to buy a blue bag. I see a blue bag that I like, I like it. But if I see a red bag, oh, actually I don't need a red bag because none of the outfits that I'm putting together coordinate with red. So I won't waste my money here. You see how it's all helpful? It's all, girl, we gonna look better and we are going to be financially competent in the process, okay? But that's another major key. You want to keep a collection of outfits that you already have. And, even your accessories, take your pictures of the accessories that you think will look good with the outfit as well. This is going to be an easy way for you to always have outfits and ideas to pull from. And this system is only going to help you improve and get better and get more confident in yourself as you start pulling outfits on the fly by yourself without the inspiration because that's the ultimate goal. I want you to get to a point where you're so confident in yourself that you can walk into your closet and know that there's an outfit in here. I just have to put it together. So definitely check out some of my other styling videos and some of my recent hauls, girl. Like this video if you made it this far and have not yet. Definitely subscribe if you're new here. Come and join our community, sis. We're fun over here. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Bye.